Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's Boardsy. This is finally going to be my Final Mouse Ultralight X review. Um, I know a lot of you guys were begging in the comments, like, right once I got this mouse, chop, chop, get to it, but I decided to give it some time. As you can tell, I have three units. Both of these Phantoms were sent out by Final Mouse, and just like customer units, my review units got delayed numerous times, and I did buy this Guardian with my own money. And yeah, that's really about all. I'm going to get into the review, go over the good, the bad, and the ugly, because it's a Final Mouse, you know, so controversial. It's a lot of your guys' first Final Mouse rodeos, evidently, by the fact that you guys just believed everything. Uh, that's not how Final Mouse works, necessarily. But, yeah, going to get right into it with the weight, which was kind of controversial. It was promised to be lighter, um, and it comes in on my scale at 37, 38 grams, where I believe it was originally stated at 32. Then it was changed to 35, and, I mean, I figured Final Mouse was not going to deliver 100% accurate on their weight estimates. All of this to be said, it is like at least 10 grams, over 10 grams lighter than the medium version of the Starlight 12. And that is a massive difference that you can feel in hand, specifically if you fingertip. Like I'm not going to say that the mouse feels heavy, but it 100% feels much more dense because it's just the same shape and just a lot heavier. I mean, not a lot heavier, but you guys get what I'm saying. So yeah, I feel like the crazy lightness of this mouse has not really been overstated in reviews if that makes sense like this mouse is significantly different from everything else specifically for fingertip grip in this like light mouse range the viper mini signature is smaller and it's like 10 grams heavier it's the same weight as a medium starlight so if you are playing fingertip in my opinion it's just a no-brainer like go with the ulx it's going to feel lighter the balancing is incredible it feels re remarkably stable like while you're actually moving the mouse around for a mouse this light when i'm clicking it it doesn't fuck with like my input and grip of the mouse which is something i've noticed a bit with the wl mouse with it being a bit more front heavy as well and these are very minor nitpicks but when mice are so good so light it's these minor things that are going to make a difference and that kind of leads me to my next point um which is the quality of this mouse and yeah this is a controversial topic if you look on reddit twitter there are lots of reports of issues mainly with the bottom panel seam gap like i have not noticed on my units any other issues besides click wobble which i'll get into um, but yeah basically where it connects here and here there's a lot of flexing and final mouse has said like they are doing speed rmas for these if you want to send your mouse in and get it fixed and that future batches supposedly won't have it um really my one of my phantoms has it but it's not something that i can really feel or notice i'm not sure if you can even see the panel flexing in a bit um but yeah basically there are two grip styles where i could see this actually like causing a flexing feeling and being an issue in game and that's like a fingertip like this where you grip towards the bottom of the clicks the bottom of the mouse in general which is a valid grip style um for me though i'm gripping towards the more like middle top of the mouse and i have absolutely no flex whatsoever like right hand to god none of my units have had any issues that have affected me in game this feels absolutely solid obviously like magnesium is just going to have a stronger feeling than the like carbon fiber composite um there are some like weak points on the shell um that i just want to address because i don't know if other reviewers really have like you can see if i press in over here the material is going to flex i don't know if you'll be able to see it flex in just like on the rear hump in general but yeah you are not going to be like i've tried trust me i've fucking stress tested this mouse you just can't apply pressure with your palm that is going to like make this hump and just this piece of carbon fiber like flex in in a way that affects you but yeah if you are like super death gripping with aggressive claw towards the bottom of the mouse as well um then i could see that if you have an especially bad unit being an issue so yeah i'm not trying to like sweep that issue under the rug but it does seem like final house is fixing it and they've already addressed it and it has not been great game breaking for me um other than that i did mention some click wobble which all of my units have i think in general like just all copies of this mouse are going to have this i was told they were designed this way um, but yeah there's just a lot of click wobble but what i've noticed um, when you're actually like, gripping a mouse applying pressure you're just always like putting some level of pressure stabilizing the clicks before you click them so it's not like you're just going to be moving the mouse around and just shaking the clicks it may be like i could see that being an issue like for some kind of palm grips but but yeah, it's really just not taking away from my experience of the mouse. And if it in any way influences the overall click feeling, then I guess it is a like solid sacrifice because these for a non-plastic shell definitely have the most natural, like snappiest, quickest rebound, lightest click feeling that I have tried. These are 
Omron 20M mechanical switches, obviously like Bind, I believe they're a lighter version as well, which I'm pretty sure was the same switches that they were using on the last Legend and maybe even the 10s as well. But yeah, these do feel a lot lighter than the Starlight Clicks and they really are just solid. And yeah, I will do a sound test now, but across all three units, the click feeling is remarkably consistent, like similar amounts of force, the left and right click feel the same and they're just extremely light and spammable. So yeah, I would say the closest mouse in terms of click feeling would be the Starlight 1210s, but these just feel a lot more like solid, tactile, less hollow, less feeling of pre-travel, just a bit like finer tuned. But one thing I actually noticed, I think Fresh Reviews pointed out and then I noticed it, so this is not a major thing, but if you like click the click all the way down, you will notice a point where it almost like gets this little grindy feeling as it completes like the amount it can travel and then it snaps back up. So really nothing massive, but if you do like hammer down your click, you might, even then you don't notice it. You'd have to like slowly click it down. So yeah, there is a decent amount of room for post-travel after you click the click in, but really pre-travel, not an issue. The wobble does not affect me in game. Side buttons are the same final mouse side buttons as always, thank God. Some of the best on the market, really well positioned, but just so light. And since the Ultralight 2, they've really been perfect. In the Ultralight 2, they got all wobbly, but I think they've made shell adjustments since then. And yeah, these are really some of the best side buttons on the market. Don't need to say too much. Like once you just try the lightness and perfection of Final Mouse's side buttons, it really clicks. The scroll wheel, I saw RJN was actually having some QC issues with this. I was not able to replicate those on any of my copies, um, kind of like the ghost scrolling or whatever the term is. But um, this scroll wheel is just like very moist. Like I don't know what it is about it, but when you go touch the scroll wheel, it just does feel like kind of slippery. There's never been an instance where I've like slipped my finger over it. Like I haven't been able to like actually get a grip of it but yeah it's just not like a naturally super grippy wheel and it does look similar to like some other wheels out there um, but it just does not like feel the same as any other mouse's scroll wheel on the market so not the end of the world but pretty interesting the click is on the lighter to medium side so if you do click it a lot won't have any issues there so yeah really my experience with all of the buttons on this mouse has been nice um really the clicks regardless of where you're gonna click are going to feel nice and spammable a bit lighter at the top as is the case on all implementations um and yeah the scroll wheel centering i mean i guess i'll show all three of my units with my insanely shaky hands and yeah there's really no issues and they also did reduce the amount of like gap between the clicks and the wheel so anyways if there was like off centering you would not be able to notice it as much as the previous starlights but yeah i just figured that would be worth addressing um the final mass nitpicks are really something incredible you see this like little indent here this is also um something that's been criticized and really if you're criticizing that just shut up like that's all i have to say but yeah one of the nitpicks i did actually find to be pretty valid was brought up in technies review which was um the adhesive on the back of the battery like there's no sticker or anything i really think there should be i dropped this mouse on my carpet just to see like what it would look like when it gets really grimy and dusty and i just don't think there's anything you can do about it it doesn't look nice but i figure like maybe the future batches are going to have like a final mouse sticker on the bottom of the mouse because i swear like yeah that's what they had on well they actually just had the area fucking covered up which might have been smarter yeah that's not something that i really understand or i get behind you i think the 0 0.01 gram of weight reduction is worth it no my camera just died one second but yeah now getting to the aspects of the mouse that actually matter i'm going to talk about the coating and the grips the coating feels pretty similar to the original starlight batches um so there is going to be like a nice rubberized somewhat like moist feeling on the click area and then the rest of the body is just going to be a bit more slippery that's really how it is on all of these non-plastic mice but yeah it's nothing where the mouse is like slipping around in my hand i'm able to get a very solid grip of it i have tried the grip tape on two of my units now and it's just weird it's like nowhere near as bad as the logitech stop grip tape but it's just not like it's not rubberized it's not grippy it's more of just covering up the holes like if you don't want the holes on the side i would say throw on the grip tape it's extremely thin it's solid it's not bad i don't think it makes the mouse worse but it's just not like top tier grip tape in my opinion so really use it if you desire me personally i'm not going to be using it and i don't have any issues like gripping the mouse but yeah now getting to the bottom of the mouse it is still going to be using ultim plastic i believe obviously it's not worth fucking like stress testing the plastic on the base um it's just like you can't apply pressure like that so um, the stock skates are the same as they have always been from Final Mouse, which is like just something to say because I feel like since the Ultralight 2, like five years, 
they've just been putting out the same exact stock skates and they perform well they're definitely on the more controlled side which i think is a smart idea when you're selling a fucking sub 40 gram mouse uh, most people are using either like control pads or like hybrid pads you're just not going to want to give them like tiger ice v choose like fastest of the fastest ptfe i have not had a single issue with these skates and yeah really they're just solid a lot of people are going to replace them the models to replace them with are already out i have some but i've just not decided to throw any on because i think the mouse feels really fucking good performance wise out of the box and now this segues me to my next point which is the software which is available on xpanel.finalmouse.com web-based software is truly the future i realized that when wooting put it out and now final mouse has it it's just so smart but yeah here we are in the software you see the overview screen really tells you everything you need to know an accurate um, battery percentage indicator all of the basic settings some people are like oh why don't i have custom dpi settings what is wrong with you what custom dpi are you using please comment below if you're using one polling rate 8k hertz still isn't out i'm probably not going to switch to it even when it is 4k feels incredible consistent no issues with the polling or just the mouse input in general simple lod slider motion sync fucking turn it on you guys who turn it off for input lag do you realize that you are turning off smoother better feeling mouse input for 0.1 milliseconds 100 microseconds of input delay like come on give me a break um then the dongle led indication the firmware but what i really like is the wireless signal strength because it lets me know whether or not my mouse is being interfered with i mean i it's not a big deal but for some of you guys who don't know where to place your dongle uh pause i imagine that this would give you guys some indication so um really just all solid from the software end in my opinion final mouse was very anti-software for as long as they could be but it seems like they have finally come around and i truly have no complaints with it on that end and yeah i'm starting to run out of like features to talk about obviously like the shape and comparisons i decided not to talk about too much um, because the starlight medium shape i feel like a lot of you guys are familiar with it it is very close not very close but it is similar to the wl mouse not too close to the viper mini signature the htx is a mouse that a lot of people have been asking for comparisons about because these mice are both in the low 40 gram range and i would say uh, maybe it's just because i have so much time on this final mouse shape but it just feels it's a more pleasant design for me to grip the h htx is like way too thin i just don't have enough room on the sides the mouse is too low it feels fucking awkward the curvature like at the hips it's just a bad shape in my opinion and with the wo mouse there is a conversation to be had because this is a 41 gram magnesium mouse that comes in at around 150 dollars i'm not sure about shipping and all of that but i know that is the listed price versus around 200 for the ulx um so there is a 50 dollar difference but i feel like if you're buying 150 dollar mice it doesn't really matter like you're splurging on a premium mouse to begin with i don't look at this as like a budget final mouse it's just like another um non-plastic mouse option and yeah neither of these are going to be weak options when it comes to performance or a mouse specifically for fingertip grip but they're just solid medium-sized mice in general um i'd 100 though prefer the weight the feeling the shape um, the click feeling just like many aspects of the ulx over the wl mouse um, the wl mouse does have an extremely solid shell i had heard that like units were becoming creaky uh, but i have a good amount of time on mine now and i really can't report that the magnesium shell feels solid i was having some rattling i don't know if it's gonna pick up on the mic but it's not like anything i can actually feel while moving the mouse around and yeah even the click quality on the wl mouse is pretty dialed in you see there's like no wobble they are just solid feeling omron opticals but i have noticed that the mouse does feel a bit more front heavy and again that definitely is a nitpick that i noticed comparing these extremely light mice like head to head with each other another nitpick is just the right side curvature on the ulx it feels like a more natural design whereas the wo mouse it just doesn't quite flare out towards the front in the same way i hope you guys can pick up what i'm saying and yeah these are minor differences i can understand if you have like a shitty ulx that has like a ton of bottom panel flex and it's affecting your gameplay how you could prefer a wl mouse but when i stack these units head to head i do just feel more confident i feel like i'm using a better mouse when i'm using the ulx and that's not because of the three gram difference compared to the gpx2 however for claw grip i feel like i just don't get the same benefit with a lighter mouse 
Um, obviously, GPX versus Starlight Shape, it's going to be a lot flatter, lower profile. And if you're finger tipping, 100% go with the ULX. But if you're somebody used to a mouse around 60 grams and you're just happy with it for claw grip, I just don't notice the same amount of improvement. And I feel like part of that is because of the, the pressure you apply with your palm when you're claw gripping. Like that doesn't you don't really need a light mouse if you're going to be applying that much more pressure but fingertip where you don't have any of your palm making contact it just feels the movements feel so much more instantaneous responsive and the rest of the mouse this is the first time final mouse really took like the hardware and performance seriously i mean they used to even put out mice on 500 hertz pulling rate for the longest time and it just all feels very dialed in i am going to give it the seal of approval because it really just does feel like one of the best mice for aiming just period and this is primarily with a fingertip grip perspective if you enjoy ergos have a large hand and palm grip i doubt you're watching however many minutes into this video but just the fact that i can use it it feels so pleasant there's like no adjustment period coming from the starlight 12 medium if you're used to that you're just gonna be like wow this feels so much lighter and nicer and then i use a 50 gram small mouse i just can feel it being so much like heavier denser feeling in comparison this is a leap that i feel like maybe it'll just take a few releases for them to iron it out people to actually get the mouse um, but I feel like this is going to be a mouse that is maimed by a lot of people. I'm probably going to find out whichever one of my units feels the most pristine. Just fucking stick with that one. Uh, potentially is my number one, number one main mouse, um, which is a great phrase nowadays. And yeah, if you are priced out of a final mouse, that is not a fucking issue. Like under $100, you can get a Lamzu Maya, um, Pulsar X2 Mini. Like you, you can get plenty of mice. They might not feel as fucking nice for aiming as the ulx but it's just like you know you can settle um but this is one of the most premium mice period um with the carbon fiber composite shell i don't think it's ever gonna be as like premium feeling in hand as the starlight was um as that's how it was explained to me at least i just think the continuous production thing is a meme because they like they literally have a drop schedule and they're like guys it's gonna be continuously produced i get it like down the line it might be um, but yeah, if you're planning to get one from a drop, I, I'd say go ahead. Presuming you know what you're getting into, you have a passion for mice, you've had a final mouse before, I think that those are scenarios where picking up a ULX makes a ton of sense. If you're 13 and it's 100% of your money, I would not go for it. I was going to make a joke, but yeah, probably don't buy a ULX if you are 13 unless you have rich parents. Maybe it would make a nice Christmas gift. But yeah, I'm excited for the other sizes as well. I'm hoping that they can obviously gradually clean up the quality issues. I mean, it just makes sense. Batch one is not going to feel as nice as like batch five or batch six. And yeah, definitely, hopefully they add a sticker. But that's about all I have to say for this video. If you guys have any other questions, make sure to let me know in the comments below. I will finally make some small mouse comparisons and an updated top five list now that the ULX has arrived. Um, but yeah, very in incredibly good mouse, in my opinion. That's going to be all. Like and sub if you enjoyed. Peace.